हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज अनीश योर इंग्लिश टीचर आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट टाइम वी व रीडिंग द टॉपिक आर्टिकल राइटिंग we had seen how to write article what is the format of a proper article what kind of language is used for writing article and the marking scheme of article we had also seen the different examples of article writing now today we take the topic for uh, our syllabus uh, which is given by cbsc that is uh, story writing now all of you know how to write a story you all have learnt to write a story in your 8th class 9th class and uh, the syllabus for story writing is there in 9th class also so we again study or recap how to write a story so first of all what is a story writing just a simple question what do you mean by a story writing so a story writing is a work of fiction first of all remember that story writing is a work of fiction when you writing a story you are using your imagination you are using your uh, ideas your thoughts your experience whatever you have seen read gone through in your life you utilize all those ideas thoughts experience while writing a story because story writing is a work of fiction okay now typical story writing has five key elements so when we write a story what should be kept in mind so first of all character when you write a story you need character and fewer character is better then setting so setting should be brief but it could be poetic and vivid keep the setting of the story brief setting means the background plot of the story should be simple and interesting so that everybody can read everybody can enjoy everybody can understand conflict it should be intense serious but one conflict means the problem in the story and the theme should be relating to the majority of readers so the theme which you are choosing for your story it should be a theme which everybody could relate themselves with okay so remember this in mind while you write a story and uh, you can go through this some points which i have already written for you on the screen you can understand it better for example a character is someone or something that takes part in actions depicted in the short story it could be a living person a dead person a ghost an imaginary character a robot a dog a toy and the list is unlimited so you can choose you can make any of the character for your story now the golden rule for selecting characters when you uh, select the characters for your story what you must keep in your mind so fewer characters are better a story writing would be more effectively conveyed its meaning if it has very few characters so you can keep one protagonist one main character one other main character and no supporting or side characters would be ideal so if the characters are less it would be easy to write 
Animating character with perfect object adjectives and examples are a must. However, typically, while writing short stories, do not fall overdo the character sizeization. Do not write. Uh, do not uh, elaborate too much about the character. You must also keep in mind the time frame and place. That is the setting of the story. So. Uh, it must be kept in mind whatever time frame whatever setting whatever location place you are using so it should be like uh, a supermarket bedroom crowded metro train drizzling evening and again the list is unlimited even the surrounding which you are writing about so what kind of surrounding you are using ghostly environment rainy season whatever you are using it must be very very effective now plot is the flesh and muscle of story writing so the plot which you are using so plot comprises events and characters actions so more creatively you describe and logically connect the events and actions stronger the plot would be and stronger the plot you create better interest would it generate among readers so a plot must be interesting strong your reader must try to get an answer what they are reading they must be interested they must be able to develop interest in what they are reading and the central idea or the main belief presented by a story writing is called the theme so the theme also must be a very very effective which is connecting which is relevant to majority of the people here again you can see the five key elements <coughs> or stages of a story writing so first of all character in all the story characters are must there must be at least two characters setting plot of the story conflict there's the problem in the story the theme of the story on what theme you are writing greedy or social theme or science fiction or ghostly what theme you are following now when you write the story you must also keep in mind uh, you must go through these steps to write story so uh, you would be able to write a better good story so number one is fewer characters if the characters are less in the story the story would be easy effective to write effective to understand there would be less uh, grammatical and uh, other spelling mistakes then second point is develop the characters for theme whatever the theme you are choosing develop the characters accordingly single and short time frame in the story you must choose the single and short time frame for the setting pay attention to the vivid surroundings so surroundings also would come in setting so vivid surrounding like like you can use it was raining um, um, the birds were chirping the animals were making noise it was a dark side so something like that very very uh, which is creating either a scary environment or something nice then the first line of the paragraph should be catchy it should be attractive choose suitable point of view so you can write either from the first point of view or second point of view then the conflict must be intense and it must look real in the story the problem you are choosing keep the theme in focus don't go away from the theme of the story you are writing 
break the rules if needed so in order to make the story effective more creative and uh, um, so that everybody can read you can even break the rule whatever the rules are written but you must be uh, creative you must be imaginative that's more important so keep all these points while attempting the question of story writing so as already is written here a story writing involves creating writing it involves creative writing skill okay so you can follow some of the points to write a good story number 1 the narrative should be in first or second or third person so the story you are narrating it can be either in first person second or third person setting of the story should be made it is important to make the setting of the story time location and what context and atmosphere so it should be described to create imagery meaningful dialogues to be used dialogue should have an expressions and then characterization so identify two to three main characters and a few side characters in the story so at least two characters should be there in the story which you are writing plot of the story should be interesting but short because the word limit should not be exceeded it can include the following so when you write the plot of the story you can include these points so what happens in the story storyline action flashback sometimes some of the stories could be started with flashback you must keep a climax in the story conflict resolving a conflict create conflict and tension in the story opposition between characters and their internal or external conditions so all these points you can keep while writing the plot of the story so now you just see one example of the story writing so the question says write a short story in 200 to 250 words with the help of the clues given below give a suitable title to the story so in the exam also you would get a question like this and the question would come for 10 marks okay and the marks bifurcation is like this uh, format one mark content four marks and expression five marks now what do you understand by format format means uh, you have written the title of the story you have divided the story at least in three to four paragraph if applicable you have written the moral of the story that is the format that is meant by the format so for that you get one mark now content what do you mean by content content means the subject matter so whatever you have written is it relevant is it appropriate so that is the content whether the theme of the story is appropriate or not whether the characters you have used properly or not setting of the story is there or not so for all these things you are given four marks and next is expression expression means how you have expressed your ideas your thoughts so uh, expression means your language accuracy what kind of language you have used whether there is any spelling mistakes or grammatical mistakes in the story is there coherence of the sentence coherence of the language so for that fluency of the language for that you get 5 marks so that is divided into fluency and accuracy so your expression is divided into the fluency and accuracy now just see one example so the story is a series of unfortunate events so the question was here going to mumbai by train to attend the marriage of a friend got stuck in a traffic jam reached the railway station late boarded a wrong train realized after 2 hours 
now you dash 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 so like this you would be given the outlines and on the basis of the outlines you will have to write a story so here you can see the example so first of all title a series of unfortunate event now your title must be short it must be effective it must be precise relevant to the theme relevant to the story so a series of unfortunate events now from the title we can understand that the story is about the event which was unfortunate so the author the writer began the story like this i sat down with relief as i ticked off the last task in the checklist i wanted everything to be perfect as it was my best friend's marriage in mumbai the alarm rang next morning i woke up in the excitement and booked a cab to the railway station now you can pay attention to the language what kind of language he has used he has used simple but appropriate language he has used past tense and story is written generally in the past tense because in story we describe what has already happened so everything was going perfectly until i got stuck in a traffic jam i reached the railway station late but on the side of the train still waiting on the platform i hurried and somehow managed to get into the train i breathed a sigh of relief and got comfortable it was only when the ticket collector came i realized that i had been in the wrong train for 2 hours i panicked and deboarded the train at the next station i tried booking a ticket for the next train to mumbai but there was no availability on coming back from the ticket counter i realized that my luggage was missing even after hours of finding and reporting it there was no trace of it i got tired and lost hope tried booking a cab with the minimal amount i was left within my pocket the cab couldn't reach on time as it was raining heavily this happened i finally walked my way to the nearest hotel contacted my parents and recited them the series of unfortunate events that happened during the day alas i couldn't even make it to my best friends wedding so here the story ends and you would see that the story doesn't require a moral so moral is not applicable here so don't write it but wherever it is applicable you can write the moral of the story use always past tense for writing the story pay attention to the language divide the story at least in three or might be more than three paragraphs so first paragraph could be always the introduction of the character introduction in the story what is going on setting characters then main matter conflict rising then you move on to the conclusion of the story so now we have already seen again a task for you write a short story in 200 to 250 words with the help of the clues given below give a suitable title to the story so now based on this you have to write a story satish was standing on the balcony watching the last rays of the sun loud and angry voices in the street below distracted his attention he ran down the stairs to see what had happened now further after this you need to create the story so do it all of you now we have already seen how to write a story so a quick recap for all of you 
how to write a short story or how to write a story for your exam when you write the story what are the things you must keep in mind so how to write a story so first of all collect the ideas for your story on whatever the question or outline you are supposed to write the story collect the ideas for your story think about it find inspiration from real people so sometime you can get the idea you can collect the idea uh, thinking about the real people from your life might be your teacher might be your classmate your parents your brother your sister your friends anyone or might be sometime from fictional characters of movies or comics or stories so find inspiration from real people then write a catchy first paragraph so when you begin the paragraph first paragraph of the story it must be effective you must use a catchy paragraph catchy attractive line that could be once upon a time in thick forest once upon a time long time back so something very interesting something very effective something very catchy paragraph or line or phrase you can use so you can see the difference i heard my neighbor through the wall very simple sentence and same sentence you see in different way the neighbor behind us practice scream therapy in his shower almost every day so first one is dry and uninteresting and second sentence if you see you would see this is much interesting the reader one who reads this or hear this he would be interested immediately always choose a point of view so when you write the story either you can write it from the first person so the story is told from the view of i the narrator is either the protagonist the main character or it could be also said from the second person point of view so second person point of view is you so the story is told directly to you with the reader as a participant in the action example you laughed loudly at the antics of the clown you clapped your hands with joy now keep in mind that you must write the meaningful dialogue when you write the story write the meaningful dialogue don't write irrelevant thing just be precise use setting and context in what context you are writing the story so be stuck to your theme follow the theme develop the characters according to the theme of the story use the proper settings or surrounding set up the plot so your story should consist at least of an introduction initiating incident a rising action climax falling action and resolution you can draw or write a visual with very simple description of what should happen in each of these stages so it will help you keep focus when writing the story and you can easily make changes to it so that you are able to keep a steady flow as you write the full story so dear students these are the points you must keep in mind while writing an effective story you must also create conflict and tension in the story so conflict is the fundamental element of fiction fundamental because in literature only trouble is interesting so you must use some problem some conflict some trouble in the story so conflict produces tension that makes the story begin tension is created by opposition between the character or characters and internal or external forces or conditions so you can follow these points so the possible conflicts include you can use the protagonist against another individual or the protagonist against nature or he could be against technology the protagonist of the story could be against society 
he could be against god he could be against himself or herself so these are the points to remember now build the crisis or climax so this is the turning point of the story the most exciting or dramatic moment it is the moment the reader has been waiting for so in cinderella's case the payoff is when the slipper fits so you can uh, use different examples you can use uh, different situation for the crisis or the climax of the story you must build a climax of the story and also then the resolution you must find the resolution for the conflict or the problem so in short fiction it is difficult to provide a complete resolution and you often need to just show that characters are beginning to change in some way or starting to see things different